Okay, we have Mark and Amy here have just got married on board a yacht in the beautiful Cyprus sunshine. Congratulations, guys. First off, how was the big day? It was. It was. Fantastic. Fantastic. Right. Yeah, out of this world. It was something out of the movies. It was sensational, wasn't it? Couldn't, you know, couldn't have been a better day, so... It just... Couldn't fault it. Looking at the colour of you both, the weather's obviously been on your side. Oh, it has, it's yeah. hot. It's it very hot. hot. It's very hot out here, isn't it? <laughs> and on the wedding day, it had to be the hottest day. Hottest so, day of the year yeah, we had. So. It was uh, sticky. So what originally made you want to get married abroad, out of the UK? I don't know, really. It was just one Sunday, wasn't it? We were just looking yeah. on the internet... And we just saw, you know... Yacht, it just popped up, Cyprus Dream Weddings just popped up, didn't it? Yeah. The yacht and everything. And, and I was yacht. like, I want to get married on that. <laughs> if Pamela Anderson <laughs> can, I can. <laughs> and it's just something different as well. Instead of getting married in a church or like anywhere else, a yacht was just perfect, really. So So it wasn't actually just the, the country itself. You wanted to be on the yacht. That's what you had your heart set on. Yeah, we wanted the whole and celebrity yacht kind of special and thing. Like, yeah, and, and Cyprus the weather like this you can't beat it so it's just a perfect the weather, day yeah. so yeah so how did you discover the company Cypress Dream Weddings who helped you arrange it all uh, well, I looked online at diff- many lo- there's loads of companies out there but I was I looked at many didn't I and this was the only one that seemed well kind of everything yeah. we ticked all the white boxes really yeah, didn't Cypress it Cypress Dream Weddings you know they've done everything really so they've been absolutely perfect yeah. you tell them what you want and they just do it for you so it's been, they've been hassle spot on. Hassle free, totally hassle mm. free, hasn't that's it? Hear yeah. Right. I don't <laughs> want any hassle. They took <laughs> care of everything. I just signed on the dotted line, really. So it was. <laughs> Did you check out any of the venues first, or was it just the yacht that you wanted? We wanted the yacht. Mm. And there's quite a few companies out there that do the yacht, but Cypress Dream Wedding seems to be the most. I don't know, they seem, they seem to know what they're doing, yeah. don't they? They've been absolutely fantastic. I did my homework. So you came to look at the yacht before you actually booked it? Did you come abroad to see it first? Yeah, within yeah. a week we flew out with mm. my, my mum and we came out and we met one of uh, Cypress Dream's wedding's representatives, didn't we? Yeah. And they took they us aboard the boat, the had a few drinks. It was so laid back, so chilled. It was just perfect. The moment yeah. I knew I was on that boat, I knew they... They, just, they basically just asked us what we wanted and, you mm. know, mm. they've done it really. So we haven't had to do hardly anything really. So they have been excellent. How did you find planning the wedding via telephone and email? Did you still feel like you were involved in the whole process? Oh, absolutely. It was so much easier than I thought. It didn't really feel like they were abroad. It was just like, if I asked the question, I'd have an answer within minutes. The whole thing was planned. We spoke about everything, down to the table decorations, everything. It was so easy. So you didn't find it difficult being not part of it, actually just doing it by the internet, no? It was so much easier. So much easier. I highly recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> highly recommend it. Question that a lot of people want to know. How difficult is it to get married abroad regarding paperwork and that kind of stuff? Not that difficult whatsoever, is it? easy as well, wasn't simple. it? Simple. So, so simple, isn't it? So. Yeah. It's basically a few bits of paperwork, a few days before the wedding you fly out, go to the town hall, register it, sign your name. We were in there minutes, weren't we? About five minutes we was in so there. Going office to office. To no, office. it's a piece of cake. It's like riding a bike. <laughs> it was easy. We was in there for about five minutes and that was it. Mm. Sign a bit of paper and it was... So you'd recommend getting married abroad then? It's, it's easy enough to, for yeah. the couples, yeah? Yeah, any time. Uh, it beats yeah. getting married, yeah. doesn't it? Definitely. Get married here any time. Any time. Easy. So easy. One thing we've got to ask, the proposal. Okay. Yeah, go on, Mark. It wasn't actually a proposal, I know, that in was it? Sound really <laughs> bad. I'm what? so impatient. I'm so, I have to have everything. I didn't my have way. much of a choice. <laughs> really? Shut up. So it wasn't romantic down in one knee. You had it planned for months before. <laughs> none of that. None of that. I think that, I was going to so. get in a boiled egg, <laughs> weren't you? I can't keep secrets, so I was trying to plan it all and stuff. But he was saying he was going to the gym on a Saturday, and he never goes to the gym on a Saturday. So I kind of guessed he was going down to get the ring. So I was like. Oh, choose it with you and I won't say anything I know I support the whole thing didn't I she goes you choose the ring blah 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 so yeah the first shop we went into I, want I was that looking one. at rings yeah. <laughs> I, want I want that, that one, one. <laughs> <laughs> I have to have a rock so I didn't have much choice in the matter really so yeah yes. exactly Where to propose? We don't, we'd already booked this before you even proposed <laughs> that's how bad I am yeah. I know. it was it I was just like, got a phone call one day it was like we're getting married July 6 on this shop because it's a dad's uh, mum and dad's anniversary what, as well wedding an anniversary, anniversary. Yeah. so mm. yeah mm. so yeah so you didn't even have a say in the proposal mm. no nope. not really not really <laughs> not much of a say but right yep I've got a question I'm going to ask you first, Mark. You say nothing until he's finished. Any bridezilla moments? 
Bridezilla. Uh, no, oh, not what I can honest. think of. I was a Bridezilla I was a bag. You oh. was. You was just very tearful, <laughs> emotional, or you know, you was oh, emotional on everything, really. So I don't have to say anything to you. You just start crying. How about I went back home to Mac at the makeup counter, yeah. and they were out on my lipstick. The poor makeup girl. I just went. <laughs> I just burst into tears because I have my lipstick. You cried over a lipstick. I cried over a lipstick, yeah. didn't I? She used to just cry over anything. Yeah. It was like... Did you ever think of backing out? <laughs> never, <laughs> never, never, never. Don't say that. <laughs> not <laughs> once, not once. <laughs> so. I was a cow bag. It's, you just don't believe how tearful you get. There's a lot to think of, though. You've got the guest lists, you've got the venue, getting people out here. Was that a bit, bit of a problem, getting people to travel abroad? Um, no, not really. And that, we just went on, everything was done on, online, really. We just booked the villas and there's 10 people from each side of the family so supply everything so whatever we wanted it was just a touch of an you know internet or a phone phone call call. yeah Yeah. everything what were your family like when they found out you were actually going to get married abroad Everyone was chuffed. Holiday. Mm. Yeah. That's uh, yeah, free holiday. <laughs> That's the way people thought about. Hallelujah. Once she's mentioned I? Cyprus and wedding, mm. that was it. They, was, they put their tickets straight away, didn't they? Yeah, so. everyone was really chuffed about it. Yeah. Right, the dress. The dress. Well, there's so many options <laughs> now. I was going to go for kind of a beach theme, very skimpy, very, but I went traditional in the end. It was very big, very bling, very, very me, wasn't mm. it? That's no, lovely, I thought. So. There's so many options, so much choice now, but it was very hot. I recommend if you're going to get married over here, make sure you get something a bit more skimpier. <laughs> skimpier. Yeah, skimpier. Skimpier's good in this one. Yeah, no, I wouldn't wear a suit either. No, don't wear a suit, it's too hot. <laughs> Did you have a lot of saying what you were going to wear? Uh, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you I can have, have, have a lot of say in any of it, really. So <laughs> I just oh. left it out to Amy. So, but what she picked for me and that was perfect. So you know, I liked it. So no, it's... you wouldn't dare say otherwise right now. <laughs> <laughs> I guess say no more. <laughs> Are you quite traditional? Did you see each other the night before? No, we didn't. He went. It's, no. We've only had two nights apart. Uh, that, was, I, yeah. that was that was the night apart. I hated it. I slept, went to bed with his vest. But then I had my stag do the night before. I so. was not happy. <laughs> didn't this love yeah. <laughs> I knew when I got a text about twelve o'clock the next morning. He'd only just got up. <laughs> didn't get up to me. Yeah, I remember what uh, <laughs> Cypress Dream Weddings. They went over to you, and you were still around the pool. hadn't had a shave. Three hadn't, o'clock. Uh, yeah, in the after an hour before. I was up at six. Did he see the dress before? No. no. I wouldn't let him. So you've been quite traditional throughout. Did you have your something old, something yeah, new? I had it, yeah, everything. We did everything by the book, didn't what we? Was your old yeah, blue blue. I had a garter, which was borrowed, and it had a blue flower on it. Something old, that was something old as well. Everything was new, everything was new. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to ask you then, first thoughts when you saw her coming down the aisle? Uh, I don't know. So I you thought, don't know. I thought she. Like, I thought <laughs> she. <laughs> I'm off. <laughs> Fell like jumping overboard. Now. <laughs> now she looked absolutely stunning when I saw her coming down the aisle. So. And uh, I said he had to look at me, but he was told not to look. Right. It's I tradition to look not straight, to. Look. You must never look forward, back. But it's bad luck, it is. Okay. I just wanted to watch her come down the aisle, and no, she looked absolutely stunning. I thought so. Oh. <laughs> Good answer. Well done. <laughs> You're in the clear so far. <laughs> <laughs> right, did you have a theme in mind when you were planning the wedding? I wanted black and white. Hmm. I wanted very celebrity, very bling, very over the top. Didn't we? Well, didn't I? It wasn't but. very bling. It wasn't bling. It was more black and white than anything else. I wanted, oh, yeah, so. I wanted, yeah, quite classy black and white. Everybody had to wear black and white. So, yeah. No, it went down well. I thought it looked absolutely stunning, it didn't it? it? it didn't Nobody look. turned up in a big pink frilly thing then they actually abided yeah. by it no no one turned up in pink nah. thank god did all they? black and white it looked stunning i thought yeah so. everybody made an effort which was nice so did cypress dream weddings help you with everything like the table layouts this that and the other they they did everything they did everything you just told them what you want what flowers you want you know and the, the colors the theme we had a meeting they, they a few days it, so when, yeah. we, when we flew out we had three days of meetings and i didn't worry about a thing we went through every detail and everything was ready for you when you got there the way you'd, yeah. you, you'd hoped it would? Everything. Yeah, perfect. I cannot Absolutely afford it, perfect. can we? No. I cannot afford a thing. So everything went according to plan on the big day? Wedding. It was my dream wedding. I can't <laughs> afford it. Yeah. There's got to be a few special touches that made the day that extra little bit. I think uh, the special touches were the fireworks. They had the Amy and Mark. Uh, what else did we have there? It, it was from start to finish. It was wow. Mm. I remember when we set sail on the yacht, 
the sun was going down and we had the music going all our guests face you could just see it in their face they were just going they don't know what to expect next right. especially in the sunset as well the sun's going down and it's just the music the champagne beautiful. the food was excellent mm. as well wasn't it it's quite you're not going to top a wedding like that it, it's, it is a Cyprus dream wedding. It was a dream, wasn't it? Uh, absolutely perfect. It really was. And how did it feel having such a personal and special day being filmed? I'm glad it was filmed, actually. I really... I, I wanted everyone to see... I wanted everyone to share it and see how special I did. I wanted to show off. I'm a bit of a show off anyway. And I, yeah, watch my wedding. It's, it's memories as well. You can look back at it and watch it over and over again. And like, Yeah, it happened so far, so it's nice to look back and see that it's been filmed. In fact, it's going to be televised so the people yeah. get to see how beautiful it was yeah. as well. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Check, check us out. <laughs> <laughs> check Mr and Mrs Villainous out. <laughs> was anybody particularly camera shy? I don't think anyone was really camera no, shy, were they? not really. They all so, kind of, I think they all liked the whole yeah. thing. The camera was I've, there. I think it added. Yeah. A lot of people haven't been on camera before, so it's quite a... And I, I think yeah. there's so much going on as well that you just forgot the cameras were there sort of thing, so... No, you didn't realise I think it added to there. it. It made us feel a little bit more special. Yeah. So how do you feel about your very, very special personal day being on Four Weddings? You're looking forward to it? Yeah. I don't like watching myself on TV. <laughs> no, it's, you do cringe. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it. I think we're going to have a big party back home when it's on and everybody watch it. And we'll probably get everyone around to ours. And, and if we win, it would be even better, won't it? Yeah, yeah. we're going to win anyway. <laughs> we can be, yeah, we're going to win. I've got to ask, so now the papers are signed. I don't even know why I'm asking this question. Who's the boss? <laughs> oh, you do you need to just throw that away? <laughs> Obviously, I'm the boss. Obviously, aren't I, Marcus. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do anything. For an easy if she'd have put you in a pink tutu, you'd have worn it, wouldn't you? Oh, anything yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to keep the peace. <laughs> so, did Cyprus Dream Weddings actually make your dream wedding? Yeah. They, they did, done more. They've done more than that. They so. did, yeah. So, and you'd yeah. recommend Cyprus as a wedding destination yeah. for British couples? Oh, yeah. Cyprus, yeah. Dream Absolutely weddings every perfect. time. We can't fault them enough. Mm. Well, thank you very much for your time. Amy and Mark, congratulations again, and obviously all the best for the future. Thank you very much.